thought uh, that Mr. McDermott had in those early years was that data was a way to eliminate the emotion. She ended up filing a lawsuit against Countrywide and then also against Wells Fargo based on our story and that ended up being a 10 state settlement for $8.7 billion of Countrywide. We have six uh, core beat areas, uh, issue areas that we uh, focus on. Uh, those are government and politics, um, health, housing, criminal justice, immigration, and uh, labor and business or the economy. We found that the number of hours that registered nurses uh, delivered care to nursing home residents uh, was the factor of, of, of the many variables that we had in our data set that was most associated with quality uh, in a nursing home. So we pointed that fact out along with the fact that Illinois uh, had such a high number of uh, poorly rated uh, majority black nursing homes and that caught the attention of one particular state senator here in Illinois, Jacqueline Collins, and she, as a result of that story, really pushed for reform specifically around the area of staffing uh, of registered nurses in nursing homes. A lot of times a data set doesn't just, you know, come to you online. You have to chase it down. I've been chasing some documents through the Freedom of Information Act now for four months and I'm still fighting for it. So sometimes you just need to have, you know, patience and persistence and, and you know, keep fighting to get to get the data to even get the project started. A good report reporter will be someone who will be very detail-oriented and also um, hard-nosed in some ways, and also um, someone who can take long, long-term view of story because you know you take three months uh, of your time doing one story. You might be digging out for one particular fact, going to the courthouse and digging through all these court files. You know that might be all you're doing for the two weeks. But at the end of the day, that's something you just have to do to kind of dig up some information that no one else has. We need uh, time, and we're very fortunate that we have good amounts of time to work on stories in depth. Uh, we need editorial support and vision, and again, fortunately, we have that here at The Reporter. Uh, we need interns, and uh, we have a lot of interns who work here and are really sort of the guts of what we do. And then you need some uh, tenacity to kind of stick with uh, the story over time as it hasn't yet formed and then ultimately comes into clearer focus. We are such a small outlet, we rely on other media to pick up our work. And so when it gets picked up, we're really excited. Not because it's like, ooh, we get to have our name in the media. <laughs> it's really about furthering the message. I mean, we have such a small readership, and a lot of people actually watch us online. So when we have partners like Chicago Public Radio, or WTTW, and we're doing Chicago Tonight, or you know, working with Chicago Defender, or Monique Carradine over at Perspectives, we're able to reach out to a larger audience that we recognize we don't have and we can't get to. So it just continues to further the investigative reporting that some of these outlets may not have the capacity to do. I think that people are interested. I think they want to know. I think they want more than sound bites. I think they want real in-depth news from people that they can trust. Um, and I think that we can provide that. You know, we don't work as fast as maybe CNN does with their constant, you know, rolling ticker of headlines, but we are paying attention. We are um, taking that extra step and looking really past just the surface and seeing what's going on underneath. And I think people are hungry for that. I think they want someone to trust. To actually see the lives of real people uh, affected by the work that you do, um, I think is uh, perhaps the greatest reward of the work that we do here. Yeah.